Hello Libra, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcome to here as well. Now Libra, because this is your general love reading, the roles can always be reversed. They can always be flipped. So as I always say every week, only take what resonates and apply to your situation, to your heart space. Um, whatever does not resonate, you know, that's not part of my story, does not apply to me. Just toss it to the side, Libra. I'm here to make tarot very easy for you in gaining understanding, clarity, insight, more importantly, your confirmation and what your intuition has been telling you all along. Um, it is one thing to trust our, um, our intuition. It never, ever leads us astray, ever. So let's get straight into it, uh, Libra. I want to really focus on your heart space. For the small collective watching this, Libra, I want to see what can you expect, yes? Do we have someone new coming in? Are you already with someone? Is it someone from the past? Oops, let's see what's happening. Um, Libra, is there a heads up? Is there something coming towards you that you should be aware of? Let's see. And also, before I forget, Libra, if you stick around to the end of this video, um, I will be using the Fairy Oracle cards and I will be pulling probably around three cards, well, probably three to five. Now, you may get messages pertaining to this um, romance reading. You may also get some messages concerning your um, maybe travel. It could be for career, finances, whatever they want you to know um, as an extra special message. I will be pulling out those cards for you. All right, let's get straight into it, Libra. What's happening? Keep hearing the word change. Change is a thought. You want change as well. I'm almost hearing someone's desperate for change. Yeah, see, Six of Swords. We're moving on. We're moving into calmer waters, though. That's ruled by Aquarius. There could be travel here for some of you as well. Um, and also maybe, you know, you if you are connecting with someone, um, they could also be abroad as well. Or you might meet someone overseas. Let's see. For my beautiful Libras, please. Oh, all right. We have a highlighted... We've got two highlighted messages there for you. Here we go. What do they want you to know? Let's talk about your heart space. Ooh, okay. Someone's going to be taking action towards you. <laughs> wow. We've got very strong um, Leo energy and Aries. Could also be a Sagittarius here as well. A lot of passion here. Again, this, in, this is indicating that this person could be abroad as well. That's not for all of you. Um, or there just could be that, you know, that emotional distance where someone's longing for you. They're pining for you. That King of Wands is already telling me this is someone that is very ambitious. It's my entrepreneur card as well. This is someone that gets things done, but they take leadership. So in other words, to get to you, to reach out, because I feel like this person's waiting for the right moment. It's like they're waiting for a sign. They're waiting for something to say, okay, now's the right time. Go and approach um, Libra right now. So interesting. The King of Wands, equally just like the Page, the Knight and the Queen of Wands, they always take action towards what they are passionate about, what they believe in, what they love. And that Three of Wands here, yeah, it shows a bit of the waiting game, perhaps. They're looking out, waiting for metaphorically the ship to come in, which is you. They've made up their mind, and I say that because we've got the wands here. They're only holding on to that one wand, which is their decision. These ones are no longer needed. So your person has made up their mind here. This is very interesting. We've got the chariot. Okay, so this is a huge, huge indication that for, uh, I'm going to say a big percentage of you, Libra, that uh, you will be traveling overseas, or this person is abroad and they will be traveling to you as well. Mm-hmm. This is the fastest card, the chariot here ruled by cancer. It is the fastest moving energy in the entire deck. Something is coming towards you. It's coming at a rapid rate. And I'm seeing that this person, male or female here, does not matter, Libra. Either way, this person here is just, I, I got the word, they're just hell bent on the decision of what they want to do. This is sheer determination here. They want to be victorious. In what way? Uh, to win your heart, to make this connection very, very successful. Let me see. Options on how to approach you, though. Mm. We've got the Seven of Cups here ruled by uh, Scorpio. Now, I just had a peek. I saw that Five of Swords there. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands. Five of Swords there is ruled by uh, Aquarius. Something happened. I think you know this person. Yep. That Two of Wands, they're going to step into the unknown. They will be reaching out first. That's, again, ruled by Aries. This is actually quite interesting. 
The Five of Swords can show that in the past, your person was actually quite selfish. They were only thinking about themselves, like me, 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 me. And what about Libra? Yeah, it's okay, Libra's fine, but no, 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 no. There's no equal give and take here. I'm wondering, did your person make you feel like an option? Did they have options though? I am definitely seeing that there's options here. It's almost like they don't know how to approach you. They just know that they have to. Um, but yeah, the Five of Swords can also show, well, there's pretty selfish, catty people um, were around this connection. Um, I don't think they were clapping for you at all. In fact, I'm going to go so far as to say that a lot of people wanted both of these to break up. So are you in connection right now with your person? Um, I'm going to say probably not. And if you are, it's very, very inconsistent though. Um, but there was some, um, a lot of, I don't know, struggles. Um, I, I'm kind of not liking the, perhaps the energy around your person though. That's interesting. So what is the head of the reading? What is the head of the matter here? What do we have? The Knight of Swords. Oh, okay. Libra, you've got the fastest moving knight. Out of all four knights, this is the fastest one. Knights are all about messages, are all about changes. And it's all, I think it's going to, I don't know why I just got that word overwhelmed. You may be a little bit overwhelmed by, this person's a bit full on now. It's like they, they want to be back in your life, but they don't want to go anywhere. They don't want you to turn them away. It's like, oof. They may be reaching out impulsively now. It's like no more waiting, no more waiting for a sign here as well. Um, yeah, there's a lot of messages coming your way, quick moving changes here. Yeah, the strength card ruled by uh, Leo. They're building up their courage, those inner reserves of strength here. Um, it's almost very courageous that they're facing you though. I do feel here they did something wrong. They could have been even breadcrumbing you as well. I feel like they listened to the wrong advice here of friends, family members, for example. Um, but I, it's almost like they think, yeah, I can overcome this. Me and Libra can overcome the difficulties from the past, though. Hmm. The Hierophant, Major Arcana for Taurus. This is my marriage card. Um, if there is no marriage in question, it's the card of commitment. You may have even been talking about the future together, planning together. Um, like I, maybe some of you were married, um, but they're seeing commitment with you. They're seeing long term. After all, the Hierophant here is looking to the future. Usually the Hierophant is looking straight at us, yes? But now they're looking to the future. We've got the strength card. They're building up their strength. They're looking at their past, past actions here as well. So illustration of the cards, placement of the cards are very, very important. They're never random. We have the death card, major arcana for Scorpio. Okay, you've got a lot of major arcanas here. Yep. I have a feeling here, Libra, you think this is actually done and dusted. They do want to bring this back to life. And I say that because the death card is also about transition. It's about renewal. It's about rebirth as well. Like we have the ending, yes? So I feel here that there was a breakup here. And I kind of feel that it was, I don't know, I very there was something selfish that your person, it's like they shouldn't have stood up for you, but they didn't. Something like that. Um, they shouldn't have fought for you, but they didn't. So we have the ending. Then we've got that gray area. And then boof, we've got the brand new beginning here. It's also about fate. It's about self-sacrifice where your person realizes now they truly understand. They need to come back as a 2.0 version, a better version of themselves. What is the beating heart of your reading, uh, Libra? This card actually influences all the other cards to some degree. What do we have? The Four of Pentacles. Mm, the refusal to perhaps let each other go, ruled by Capricorn. Yeah, I see here, Libra, that you're keeping your cards very close to your chest. I think that's very wise um, because the Fours here, your person's planning something. I have to say it, even after this ending, they are planning something. The Fours are all about planning for the future. I mean, it's an excellent card for business. It's also a very good card for romance as well. They're not really revealing um, their true thoughts and feelings and their next move. But yeah, there's just a holding on tightly, the refusal to let go here as well. This card upright, I mean, I always read the cards upright. Um, and I know kind of when to read them reversal. But um, this is also the indication that perhaps we have to let resentment, anger towards this person die to let it go. Um, it's for your benefit here, Libra. What else do we have? Ah, you're one of my favorite aces, the ace of wands. We've got a passionate new beginning here. This is what they want. This is what they're planning. They're just not, ta they're not saying it to anyone. They're not even verbalizing it out loud. Out of all the aces, the particular, this one, Ace of Wands shows that this can be quite successful though. It all falls on their shoulders, on their next move, on what they offer you. Let's see. There could have also been an ending in your person's life, um, separation or a divorce as well. We have the Seven of Pentacles here, um, ruled by Taurus. 
Okay, this is the wait and see. This is what you're going to be basically doing to your person. Um, you may actually not respond straight away as well. I'm not really seeing a lot of action on your part. So I'm seeing a lot on your person's end. With you though, it's almost like you're contemplating, is the juice worth the squeeze? Do I want to accept this Ace of Wands? Do I want to perhaps open up my heart again? What if I get this another headache, another problem now? Um, friends could have been an issue. I just got that as well. And I don't think you were probably aware of that as well. Especially if things happen behind your back. No, that's not good. Um, but this is your person wanting to, well, reinvest in this once more and plant that seed and nourish this. But I do see you perhaps questioning, well, why couldn't you do that before? Um, and these are hard lessons that your person had to learn, though. Interesting. In the near future, what do we have? Four of Wands. Ruled by Aries, my twin flame card is my marriage card. It is also a celebration card. It is also about reconciliation. I think you may want to kind of entertain this sort of, well, if I did get back with this person, perhaps maybe I want to see, well, what has changed um, as well. You may want to explore this as well. Um, I do see here that someone here really could be changing jobs, in industries or getting promoted, um, perhaps renting a new place, purchasing a new place. This often does show a change of address here as well. So it could even be here, you know, moving in back together for some of you or even talking about it. Um, but in the outcome, we have the two of swords. That is you. That is ruled by Libra. You're still ruled by a little bit of indecisiveness. That's why I don't see you making a decision anytime soon, to be honest. But then we have the six of wands ruled by uh, Leo. You want this to be successful though. That's the thing. It's like a bit of a analysis paralysis. We have a bit of a war with our head and our heart though. Be careful. Not everyone will be clapping for you because, you know, we've got people cheering you on saying, yeah, you're together with this person right there though. This one right there, that is actually the seven of swords. That's someone here that doesn't wish the best for you. I uh, so want to say screw them, but you may actually just want to take that chance. We have the fool here, ruled by Aries. So I always like to dig a lot more deeper in the outcome here. So I do see here it can be quite successful. But in saying that, you may want to take that chance. I think, you know, the, the fool is all about brand new beginnings. Let me see. I'll put these together. I do want to clarify these cards. Okay, let's see. Mm, just get a lot more deeper into this message. And I'm also wondering, um, and obviously this is not for all of you though, was your, was your person dealing with a karmic or was there anything toxic here um, as well? Like perhaps like a toxic um, ex? Yeah, that five of swords, don't really like that. Yes, see, I split the deck. So we're splitting the energies. We're going a lot more deeper. That's ruled by Scorpio. That is your person having a major epiphany, a wake up call. And that's asking you for a second chance as well though. Let's see, last one always want to just get a really good shuffle here for you on camera let's see oh all right what do we have yeah the hierophant again three of swords yeah i was wondering was there a third party here yeah something happened third party now like i always say that could yes it be infidel infidelity it was probably friends family members and ex that was the ultimate driving force so he's trying to still be that driving force in this separation King of Pentacles. Okay, strong Taurus energy could also be a Virgo and a Capricorn. Um, that's what I was asking here. Um, were you married with this person or were they married or were they formally married? The King and the Queen of Pentacles notoriously are known that they are already in a committed relationship or married here um, as well. Mm, definitely not talking. Your person's gathering their thoughts. This is Libra energy. Gathering their thoughts about you and you'll be doing the same as well. Before you even probably even replied to this person. I do see it's going to come out of left field. Um, yeah, you'll be gathering your thoughts because you're going to be receiving this message. I do feel your person abandoned you. So as part of this message, it's going to be about this. So you've got Sagittarius, you've got Taurus energy here with that five of pentacles as well. So you may have been breadcrumbed. You may have been even blocked. That is just really childish behavior, of course. Um, but that's the thing, though. Your person wants to return Gemini energy, but they're stuck in the head about this because it led now to the ending, the death. Mm, what happened? I'm wondering, did they choose someone or something else over you as well? That's that three of swords. Let's clarify the knight of swords. Got it again. All right. The four of wands twice now. 
That's why they're rushing back. It's like they can't get back. They can't reach you fast enough. They want reconciliation with you. That is the marriage card. So the topic of marriage is quite important here on some level. Either they are married, that may have actually ended as well, um, or they're definitely seeing as marriage material. And if you don't want to talk about that, it's way too early. We're talking about very strong commitment here. That's the only reason why they're coming back. Let's clarify the strength card. Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. That's my traveling knight. This person's prepared to actually muster up their courage here um, and pretty much risk it all and travel to you. That Knight of Wands, again, like I said, they, they take action here. Um, very passionate. Sometimes, yeah, this person could be led by too much passion. Um, that could be a bit of a hothead, you know, throw those temper tantrums here, um, here and there as well. They're just quite very passionate here. They are going towards you. This is the call to action. Out of all the nights, it's like, okay, you got to get up, you got to hurry, you got to go towards Libra right now and fix this, which is what they will be doing. Let's clarify the Hierophant. We have the devil. Yeah, there it is. Ruled by Capricorn. So there's something quite toxic here. I have a very strong inkling here, Libra, that perhaps your person is dealing with something like a karmic, um, a toxic ex, a toxic family member, or a toxic friend here as well. There's something quite toxic here. I, and it's right on top of the marriage card as well, though. And I do see a person moving away from that with the death card. And don't forget the judgment card. Those are big transformations within your person. They cannot approach you, and they know this. They cannot approach you, bringing the same baggage and the, and the old same attitude. They've got to be better. Yes. Hmm. What's your person tempted here as well? The devil is a card of temptation. It's a card of extremes. It's too much of something. And it could also be here about domination, control, bullying. So that you know, either what's happening on your person's end, whether it's a family member or you know an ex or whoever it is, it, yeah, they're putting that person through hell. Your person. Let's clarify the death card. What do we have? We have the Queen of Wands. Now you've got your perfect match. You have the King of Wands up there that takes action, and now you've got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they want to bring this back to life. And I say that because when we have the perfect match, when it was good Libra, it was fantastic, it was great, it was full of passion, you bounced off each other, you made each other laugh, you just got each other. You had your own inside jokes. This is what they miss though. So I do feel here that you'll be taking some action as well. Um, a lot more slower than um, your person though. I feel like now they're really, really, really sure they know what they want, they want you. Um, I just feel here there's just a bit of a gray area. Mentally it's like, oh, I don't know if this is the right decision. Um, it's almost like, you know, you just can't afford to waste any more time anymore, yes? You don't want anyone to waste your time. And of course, I, I totally agree with you. Let's clarify that Four of Pentacles. The Tower. Yeah. Mm. So we're holding on to something here. And then, boom. Major Arcana for Scorpio. That Tower there, yeah, it came crashing down. They, this, I feel that this ending happened very abruptly. It was like, it just flatlined. Um, and you were blindsided here. That's what happened. They took action, the wrong action here. Um, they, and honestly, they just, they refused to let that tower go, which is the past. They refused to let you go. I understand more now. Why is it that perhaps you're not fully convinced of whether to accept this brand new um, Ace of Wands? Because what if they do this again? Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Okay, we've got the full twice now. Now, when I start seeing the same cards, um, different decks, it shows that, yes, you may be mirroring each other slightly, um, you know, to a certain degree as well. Could also be double confirmation here to say, well, perhaps why don't you actually just give them another shot? Maybe they have changed. I do see that they have, though. Um, but it's almost, why don't you hear them out at least? Then you can make up your mind. Just so you're confident either moving forward or you feel confident giving them another chance. So this is all about brand new beginnings and moving forward. Let's see. So continuing now with the seven of pentacles, the six of wands again. We had the six of, I believe we had it. Yeah, see, we had it here. We've got it twice. So you're both definitely mirroring each other um, to a, well, a very strong degree. Now they want this to be successful. This is, it's very clear here. Um, they want to reinvest in this long term put everything back into it but they want it to be successful wow this is um this is actually a very interesting reading let's clarify that four of wands knight of pentacles yeah this is the slowest moving knight 
out of all the knights, funny how you got the fastest one, because they're coming in hot and fast. This is you. Ruled by Virgo, could also be a Taurus and a Capricorn. You might want to take this very slow. In fact, very, very slow. Um, I think it's more just to make you feel a bit more secure, um, a bit, like I said, more confident here as well. So they're definitely going to offer you something here, but I feel here that um, to have that beautiful Four of Wands, that happy reunion, I think you may propose, set your limits and say, we need to take this very, very, very slow. Because I do feel that a lot of damage has been done here um, as well from them, but also thanks to whoever, whatever this um, devil energy is. Let's clarify the ending. Yeah, still, yeah, yeah, still weighing up your options, see? Eh? The Two of Pentacles, um, ruled by Capricorn. The Six of Pentacles, ruled by Taurus. So this is equal give and take. Could also show a divorce here where money has to be paid out, like child support, um, spousal support here as well. Sixes are all about healing, though. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, sorry, that's Eight of Pentacles. My apologies. Eight of Pentacles there, ruled by Virgo. Yeah, I have a feeling here that you'll definitely be asking yourself, is it worth working very hard on this? Yeah. What else do we have? We've got the Empress ruled by Taurus. Okay. Now yeah, I want to give birth to this. There's definitely children involved here as well. I just want to get more on the ending here for you. Oh, all right. Just drop that card. Hang on. Let me just, my apologies, Libra. I just, yeah. What do we have? Okay. Oof. Hierophant at the bottom again, marriage, long term. Yeah, they're going to come, they're going to reach out. They're waiting for the right moment because look what they're doing. Completely regretting that they didn't invest in this, that they didn't protect you. I think what ultimately what happened here, um, and I'm not trying to be rude about their character. It's just that when they shouldn't have defended you, whatever this third party was, they shouldn't have stopped them at the door and say, no, no, no. This, what I have with Libra, is very sacred, and I'm going to protect Libra, but they didn't do it. That's what happened. Now they've learned their hard lessons here. Um, I do feel, for the majority of you, um, that you will give this person another chance, but it's going to be very, very slow. Very, very slow. And I don't think that's a bad thing, though. I do want to now get some messages. Uh, let's just push this up. It's a bit messy. My apologies. Let's get some messages here. Mm, there, you see? We've got healing, healed and healer. Healing energy surrounds you and this situation. Oh, so the potential for healing is there. But let's get some messages here. It could also be about this love reading or could be about any area of your life. Let's see. For Libra, please. Messages for them. Oh, all right. That was fast. <laughs> usually, okay, usually they don't come out this fast, but all right. Well, I'm just kind of guided. Yeah, the same take. Yeah, all right. I'll, I don't question it, the same taking. At the bottom of the deck, we have children. Your connection with children is part of your life purpose. This is an indication confirming that there could be children involved here as well. That's going to be very important. Um, could also be reflecting here also about your own children here that are happy and safe. Um, also showing that there could, um, well, could be pregnancy involved. Because remember, this is my pregnancy card. What do we have? Right, whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. That's like removing those emotional blockages. As if, if you remember, I said with your four of pentacles in the middle of your reading, it's saying to let go of anger, to let go of resentment as well. Okay, your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. So what is your wish right now, Libra? What is that big wish that you hold near and dear to your heart? It's, a, it's a, definitely a sign it's going to come true. Yes, in the meantime, admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what is, sorry, I can't even read. <laughs> Only you know what it is that you truly desire. So admit your true feelings about yourself um, in regards to this person. So we have the jumbo card. We have also be yourself. This situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. Do not have to change for anyone. We've got some seasons coming up for you. Something could happen in winter and autumn here as well. Major changes coming your way, Libra. I do one, one thing I'm very confident about to say is that this person is definitely coming towards you. But, of course, the whole thing about that third party, the devil, yes, the five of swords, um, the tower, they're going to really, really have to make up for that and earn your trust back. 
This is definitely a heads up. This is definitely coming your way with all the major arcanas, definitely sooner rather than later. I will leave this here, Libra. I thank you for joining me. Um, and yeah, if you did like this reading, I appreciate that like button. This may very well reach another Libra that perhaps would like to hear this message. I will see you in the next couple of days, Libra. And thank you once more. Take care. Bye.